I usually put these in a little bag. In fact, I get one because otherwise I lose it. One bag. Pieces of hardware. And a little sticker to let me know what it is. And if you're like me and you lose things, that's how to solve it. So, I'm going to be sanding these doors before I put them back on. Um, and so I want to just take off all of the door furniture so I can do that a bit easier. And on door handles, there's nearly always a teeny tiny little screw you have to take out. I probably can't bring the door to you, so let me see if I can show you. Okay, so see that tiny hole on the top? Ooh, oh, let's hold this. Let me turn it around slightly. You can see the teeny tiny little screw. That's what you have to take out with the world's smallest Allen key before the handle can come off. Let's see if I can balance you back there again. I'm probably going to paint these doors. I was wanting to purchase some original Victorian doors. They're really, really pretty, um, but they're so expensive, they're just really in demand at the moment. I'm really good, thank you. That's really nice for you to ask. Glad that you like it. I spend a lot of my time doing it, so it's nice. It's nice that people feel they benefit from it. How was your evening? Painting doors black, go for it, go for it. It obviously makes the space a little bit darker, so I'd offset that with a lightly, like a lighter colour scheme um, in the rest of the space. But yeah, do it, like my door frames are dark blue and it doesn't look too dark. That's a lovely offer, Barry, thank you, I'm all right. Um, that flick for the... I wish I had skills like that. Just making sure I hadn't missed anything. Yes, I don't usually go live. Um, tonight I fancied it. I was in the mood. I thought I'd jump on and say hello, and I hadn't yet changed from my alter ego. So, I think I've broken this. <laughs> there we go. One of the door handles. That's solid brass, it's really heavy. And it gets dull really quickly. And so, it quite often needs shining up. I normally use Brasso because it works really well. Um, you can also use WD-40 on it. I did that actually in one of my videos and it worked really well. I don't know what big chopper means. This makes me feel like I'm maybe not very cool and that I don't understand like lingo, you know, all the kids are saying these days. Trimmed kebab sticks. That's such a, that is a great tip. That's really clever. I have also made issues, uh, made problems, mistakes, that's what I mean, with door hinges before. Yeah, that's, that's so, that's great news. I'm really pleased for you. That's kind of what I'm, you know, I'm hoping for people that they feel inspired to, to try DIY, even if it's just simple stuff, you know. Because, like, when you do something that you're like, oh, I, didn't, I, I don't think I can do that, and then you do it, you're like, oh, <laughs> I 
I don't think I could do that. I can. That's really exciting. And it gives you like such an adrenaline rush. Um, so yeah, I've probably pleased for you that you've got some DIY stuff done. That's just a troll. Yeah, they like me. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Jen? Nice to see you. I don't know why, but whenever I see your account, I'm always like, is my house clean? And the answer's always no. It's always no. How did I get started? I got started when I had a, I had a pipe burst and it was something really simple to solve. I basically just had to turn the stop tap off, but I didn't know that that's what you had to do. And so like all this water's coming out and I'm really panicking and it was really stressful. And I didn't like how that felt. And I had someone come over like an emergency plumber and they fixed the problem literally just by turning the tap off. And they were like, that's 120 quid. Thanks very much. And I'm like, great. Um, and I thought it, it, like, it's, if I'd have known that I could have done it. It's really, it's, it's quite basic. And so I kind of just started getting really interested in what other stuff I could learn how to do. It kind of went from there, it kind of escalated. This is just, it's just a bit of an escalation from fixing one small problem. Oh, I read really slowly, so I'm just scrolling back. They're really short, yeah. Well, there's places online that do replacement Victorian doors in all sorts of weird shapes and sizes, but they are quite expensive. But that said, maybe you could sell yours and raise a bit of money to put towards them. Might make it a little bit cheaper. Bleeding your radiators, exciting. This is like solid ad adulthood jobs, isn't it? Doing your radiators. Good for you, I feel proud of you. Any lift here, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, lovely to be invited to go live, but I've never done that before. I don't know how to do it, so I will learn how to do that at some point. Thank you. I'm glad that you like it. Um, hold that thought for one second. Someone just knocked on my door, but I'll be back. Two seconds. Weird. They disappeared. <laughs> Why do people do that? Um, okay. Back to what I was doing. Sorry, got distracted. Someone was some, supposed to come pick something up, but they they were late, and I've got no patience. So I'm like, you just have to come in another time. Funnily enough, there was people parked in cars and they waved at me and I waved back because I thought, oh, they must know me. And then I'm like, oh, well, no, it's probably this. Pro that's probably why. Because it's weird. Like, it's how often does someone open the door dressed as Spider-Man? Hey. Yep, leaking ra radiator valve. I don't know if I've actually done that before. As for bleeding radiators, I'd listen out for if it's making strange sounds like gurgling, um, that could be quite a good time to, to do it. Or um, if the if it's getting hot at the bottom but not hot at the top, that could be like another indicator that it needs to be done. Why am I dressed as Spider-Man? Because I do DIY and it means I don't have to get my nice clothes dirty. And also it was a bit of fun. It was kind of like a celebration of there being a hundred thousand of us. Um, but now it's just kind of fun. <laughs> it's 
just kind of become my thing and it makes me really happy. I don't have a face mask, um, which makes me sad. Maybe I should pick one up. Ah, I'm, on, I'm falling on the FYP, that's kind of cool. I'm glad that you like them. I'm always up for people letting me know what they want to see and what's helpful for them. Um, I'm not always able to answer all of the questions, but I try to answer the most popular ones or... Two seconds. Sorry, someone's bugging me for, for something. I am addicted to power tools. It's a problem. Uh, I have an angle grinder. You won't regret it. It's really, really handy. Absolutely terrifying tool. But um, nail gun. That's that's the next on my list. Yeah, these tiles. I've still got to put them down. I've still got to put them down, and um, it's really having done a little bit of it before in a different part of the house. I know that it's. A little bit tricky so I've been putting it off a little bit <laughs> rather than like doing other stuff because I'm usually busy during the day I might be doing work on my laptop or working for different clients that I have um by the time it gets to the evening it's a little bit late to start cutting tiles so I'm gonna have to properly plan it in for the the daytime so I can get it done all in one go so I like to get the whole space done before the um tile adhesive dries that's the door again give me two seconds I um just making myself some bank just selling stuff on Facebook marketplace just I don't know it's really exciting you've got something you don't want you like sell it for a fiver and now I feel really rich <laughs> it's literally just a fiver oh gosh your upstairs ones I'm guessing that means radiators were cold cold at the top the tower roll was all cold, so I knew to do, yeah, yeah, spot on. That sounds about right. Sometimes it's just like the pressure in the boiler goes down, so it isn't pumping around as much as it should be. Oh. Victorian ones, yes. I um, When I did that video, uh, the tiles that I bought, I bought from a place in the UK. But I realised after I'd done that video, I made it sound a bit like I'd bought the tiles from Tanzania, which I had intended to, intended to do. My sister said, did you buy them when you were out there then? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, how did you bring them back on the plane? I'm like, oh no, I didn't, that's not. And I rewatched it and I was like, oh, that's really, really not clear at all. But I actually bought them from the UK. I was just in Tanzania when I did it. I will do a tour of my house. I keep uh, promising that I will do and they're not getting round to it. I think it's because, um, despite all of the mess that you guys see, I'm actually quite house proud. And when my house isn't that tidy, it makes me really reluctant to go around with the camera. 
It's silly, I know, because you literally you see it on my mouse all the time anyway. Do you focus on one task to renovate or do you do a bit of everything? I tend to do a bit of everything because I get a little bit bored. Like if I'm doing something that's quite monotonous, um, I get bored quite easily. Um, and so sometimes I might just do... I might just focus on one room or I might focus on doing a particular activity. Um, so, for example, if you're like renovating a whole house, you might want to do all of the plumbing first or all of the electricity first, which makes a lot of sense. Because if you're, say you were to paint a room before you've done the plumbing, um, you might have to take up some of the floorboards or open up some of the walls to, to deal with some of the plumbing. So it makes sense to kind of do a lot of the big stuff at the start and some of the finishing at the end um but yeah so there's, there's some stuff that is i've done like the wrong way around but i tried to i tried to do like a space each because then there's like protected spaces that are just nice to be in because they're finished i can exp yeah i can explain um that's exactly what i said to them it's like oh <laughs> you're spider-man i was like i can explain yeah, yeah, it is late to be coming round. Um, he said that he'd come at 9.45 and I thought, mm, I mean, that's too late for friends to even come round, <laughs> let alone strangers. Um, but um, yeah, he was going to bring me money. So I was like, we can make this work. to apologize for keep commenting i'm really enjoying hearing from people and i like your questions um yeah these these handles aren't actually original they are replicas based upon original shapes and i like them too they were quite expensive um but i'm convinced that the sort of devil's in the detail so i don't mind cashing out a little bit for stuff like this uh, so I think it kind of just brings up the feeling of the space. I don't know who lived here a hundred years ago. I would love to find out. Um, I just think about all of the stories that a house has and what's happened in each of the rooms. And when I lived at my last property, I bought it from a man who'd lived there for 40 years. And his, him and his daughter, we used to go for uh, a meal like once every month or two. Um, and that was simply because he'd lived there for so long that I think he had a hard time moving out and detaching from the house. And it was really nice just to catch up with them and talk about the house and what they'd done there and um, just kind of making a new friend as well. And I was able to hear quite a lot about what had happened to the house and how it used to look um, and the history. And that was just such a gift. Whereas here, I don't really have much information about this house at all. I tried to look on maps and stuff because I don't even know the exact build date. I think it was about 1880, um, as you can see from the original stone. Um, but yeah, I try and look on maps because then you can see when when they were built just by their absence. If you find a map and they're not there, you know that it was built sort of after that time. A little bit of everything. Well, yeah, that's pretty much the song that plays in my head throughout the day. Spider Girl DIY. I couldn't agree more. I think it's really fun. I like it. It's you, When you're doing jobs that take a really long time, it can get a little bit monotonous. So it is kind of fun to bring a bit of, bring a bit of life to DIY. I'm just waiting for the next person to do it. I'm totally convinced that this is the start of a trend that's just slow to pick up. Um, I might try and convince some people to do it. I have traveled to quite a few places. I've been quite fortunate to uh, be able to travel to quite a few countries. Um, there's lots of places I haven't been that I would love to be, that would love to go to. I uh, haven't travelled for a very long time just because of Covid and I'm not too fussed about all of the restrictions so I think I'll 
save up my holiday time and then splurge at some point in the future when it's possible to get out and about. Mm -hmm. Oh, how do I scroll up? Technology is beating me. Mm. I'm going to retile around the surrounding of your fireplace. That seems like a sensible idea. Is it, an, is it a functional fireplace? Where am I from? I am from Bristol. So I currently live in Bristol and I'm also from Bristol. Um, I've lived elsewhere, but I came back because I quite liked it here and I quite liked being close to my family. Um, I'm one of eight children, which surprises a lot of people. Uh, and having such a large family, I guess, made me want to be to be near them. What will I do in terms of renovation? Um, yeah, I think I'll finish renovating here and then decide what I'd like to do as um, this is kind of a really lovely place. It's a lovely house. It's a lovely area. Um, I wouldn't say it was my forever home. So there's kind of a certain type of property that I've got my eyes on that I've been working my way up to. So with my last house, I was able to get on the property ladder by buying a really rundown house in a slightly dodgy part of town, somewhere that I really didn't want to live at all. And lived there for five years just because I really wanted to get onto the property ladder. And I did that place up, not loads. I actually didn't have a lot of the skills that I do now when I started there. So I just kind of did lots of cos cosmetic stuff. Uh, had someone come in to do the kitchen and that sort of put the property value up a bit and then that meant that I was able to afford to buy here and I'd also you know spent a couple of years trying to get higher paying jobs um I basically just worked in loads of jobs that I hated for a really long time because buying a house was the most important thing to me um but I'm hoping that at some point I'll be able to finish this and then potentially move on to somewhere else and do it up. Because it's so fun when you come into a house and you're not sure what's going to be like hidden under the floorboards or... <laughs> it's kind of scary. You don't know quite what you're getting when you buy a house. It's, it's a bit of a risk, really. What would be my dream location to travel to? Um... South America, I'd love to go to. Um, there's a place called, is it Palau? Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. There's basically an island uh, where there's a really big jellyfish lake and the lake itself has been disconnected from the main seas for such a long time that the species of jellyfish are native just to that lake and they are they don't sting they're not poisonous um so you can swim with them and um i think it looks amazing it's called jellyfish lake uh but there's also another name for it and i would love to go visit there but it's it's quite an expensive location because it's a bit off the beaten track people want to know about my spider-man costume it's for fun, so everyone can have fun. Yeah, I'm not surprised that it's not functional because normally if you've got a functional wood burner or um, fireplace, it uh, sort of requires a stone or tile base uh, just to, for it to be safe. But yeah, I can understand you wanting to change that. I think it can really make it look quite classy if it's got tiles or other things. I'm from Bristol as well. Yay! Woohoo! Representing. Yeah, this is catching up. Oh, I'm loving all of these Bristol folk coming in. There's a really huge community on TikTok of people doing DIY. Um, 
So yeah, like and recommend some people if if you're interested in finding other people like me doing similar things. I am still doing DIY. I'm currently distracted by a really enjoyable conversation when I was taking the handles off these doors. Oh, just realised it's actually stuck on there. I must. Have... I mustn't have let the paint dry because it was slightly stuck. That's how you break things. Ooh, find my past. I'm going to go look at that. I'm super nosy. I love finding out stuff about properties. What is my career? You are looking at it. This is my full-time job doing DIY. Um, and I predominantly work with different companies doing influencer marketing. Uh, I basically, when I, I find companies that I like, um, I wouldn't be capable of doing influencer marketing for companies I didn't like because I'm not very good at lying. So <laughs> I think if I didn't really like a company, it would be really obvious. Um, but yeah, I do work for them in influencer marketing, like making you guys aware of companies that I think are really great that might help you with your DIY. Um, I also create content for companies, so I do like, uh, I record videos that uh, of me doing DIY that companies can use on their own platforms. So those are just some of the ways that I sort of create income. I also have a list in my bio, just checking, is it okay for me to say that? TikTok's become very strange about it. Um, with a full list of all the tools that I use and they've all got uh, affiliate links. So when people find something that they need and they purchase it through the link, it like gives me like a little reward. It's not much at all, but it's, uh, it's something. Just scrolling down reading. Scottish, but live in England. Why? <laughs> Scotland's so beautiful. Why here? Oh, I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason. I'm just very curious. Are there any tools that you don't have that you need or want? Oh, there's so many. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. I'd love a nail gun. I am currently using my sister's. I would love a um there's a certain type of saw that I can a jigsaw. I actually don't have a jigsaw. Um, it's quite sort of like a basic tool, but I just don't have one. I'd like one of those. Um, yeah, sometimes in some instances, there's just certain tools that I have that I would like to upgrade, but there's nothing wrong with what I've got. So I've kind of kept what I've got unless, you know, some of my family were like, oh, I need this tool and I can donate it to them and then buy myself a new one, which is one way to get around it. I do like discovering things under wallpaper. I um, quite like to take photographs of it. So when I've found stuff like that in the past, I've taken photos, but I've got no idea why. I've got nothing to do with these photos, but I've just been keeping a little stock of them. And I might even do like a little thing on Instagram about them at some point. Just, it really tells a story about a place. I think it's really quite cool. Do you have a partner that gets annoyed with the DIY or is it just mine? No, no, I, um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone would put up with all my DIY. Um, probably my neighbours might find me a little annoying. They haven't, they haven't said that, but, uh, yeah, sometimes it can be a bit noisy during the day. A self-centering drill bit for screws to go in at 90 degrees. Why can't I envisage that? That sounds cool though. I can't, I can't visualise what that looks like. I really like those ones where they have a drill bit in the middle and they have a square piece of metal so that when you drill in, you get a 
square hole. Those things blow my mind. They're so cool. Oh, that's super cool that you've been using a, a drill. Um, if it helps, I was also very clumsy using my drill for the first time and I felt really silly and I didn't know how to hold it <laughs> and I just, I, I was by myself when I was hanging this shelf, it's one of the first things that I did and I just thought it was crazy just how silly I felt and how embarrassed I felt and I was just in my own company but because I hadn't done it before I just felt really alien so it's not, it's not just you. Thank you. I'm glad that you like the panelling. I uh, thought maybe um, someone was going to set up a petition for me to change it so that it was straight at the bottom, but thankfully, thankfully that didn't happen. Modern Spencers, I'm proud, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I just, I enjoy my company a lot, a lot and um, just don't have that much time to give to other people. Have a nice sleep. It's getting quite late, isn't it? It's like half ten now. I will have a lovely night. I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to turn this door around so I can do the other parts. These are in the kitchen because I needed some space to do the upstairs and they're just really in the way. Hello, good evening, how are you? How are things in your world? I'm taking things off this door if you've just joined. Um, I'm not going to show my tools on my live because I actually got banned once from lives. And I think it was because I showed a drill bit in the video and they, they thought it was a weapon. Um, but yeah, that live ban lasted nine months, so I'm just going to like, I'm just going to not put them in the live. Do you know how to get a trickle vent off a window? I don't. And I don't know what a trickle vent is. Perhaps if I saw it, I I might, but it sounds like the kind of thing that might like pop off if uh, if you stuck a screwdriver behind it or something. <laughs> NHS person, I'm sure you have like no concept of time. I bet your sleeping patterns are crazy. Oh, I clicked on something. Have a lovely night. Really lovely of you to drop him. Have you not seen the equaliser? I don't know what that is. Is that a program? I'm really exposing my lack of general popular culture right now, I, f I fear. <laughs> yeah, it was nine months because TikTok have a little bit of an issue with their banning. Um, with banning people and it just took them a really long time to review it. Oh, so it's like what uh, promotes the air circulation. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, sorry, I've not um, I've not used one of those before, so I'm not too sure. That's the thing you can't do. Yeah, I'll bet you there's a YouTube video on that. I actually uh, had to had to go, had to YouTube um, how to get the child lock off of my washing machine today, um, because I had my uh, cleaners come around and they leant against it and somehow it turned it on. And I couldn't work out how to turn it back off again. <laughs> hmm. Sneaky mold.
doors come with these fancy keys. <laughs> now I knock down walls on Thursdays, so you check back in on Thursdays for knocking walls down. I'm glad you like them. Thank you very much. I endeavour to serve. Oh, the stairs done. The stairs, the stairs are not done. How much battery do I have? 23%. That's pretty good. That means I can pick you up and I'll give you a sneak preview for what I've done this evening that I haven't yet produced my video on yet. Let's have a little snoopy. Oh, you're going to see all my mess. It's really upsetting. So I did all of the underlay earlier on and uh, I've just started doing the top. This isn't fully set yet. Uh, I've just done the first step but it started to get quite late and I was using the nail gun so I thought I'd wait till tomorrow to finish it off. But yeah, it's really, it's really, I'm so excited because I, I bound down these steps like a hippo and that probably keeps my neighbours up so they're going to be very happy. You do rise tomorrow, so <laughs> do you know what? I have such a poor concept of time now that I work for myself. Uh, friends will say to me, oh, uh, what are you doing this week? Uh, what are you doing tomorrow? And I'm like, what day is it tomorrow? I'm like, how can you not know? I'm like, I just don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be, I don't know why it's so dark. You can't really, maybe it's the light on the, I don't know how that's going to help. I'm just trying to like promote the light into the camera. Yeah, give you a little close up actually. Oh! So they end uh, just before the grippers and then the carpet kind of gets stuffed into the little gap and the wool kind of gets trapped on the teeny tiny little hooks. Actually, I'll show you what I've done at the top. And this isn't even, this is for tomorrow's video, so you're getting like a super preview. This is how I decided to fix the carpet. So there, it's all, it's all stuffed into the gap. And then I've gone over with the, the nail gun. And I've put just some secure, some nails to secure it, but right into the corner so that when I put this on, you won't be able to see it. So all of those little nails that you just saw, which were obvious, are now hidden. And quite often people think perhaps it's this that holds the carpet down. And more often than not, the stair rods are actually decorative. So what's actually holding it down is the gripper rods and now the nails and then that's just for fun just for fun just for a silly goofy mood <laughs> yeah it's quite fancy isn't it yeah well i'm i'm fortunate although i've not done this before um I'm quite lucky in the sense that my undergraduate degree was textiles. So I've got really good knowledge about how textiles work and how to like knowing what way to put the underlay down, for example, so that it's less likely to move or the fact that the rods would work really well with the wool because it's a natural fiber and it catches. My cats would totally steal those rods. Yeah. I really want to get a dog. I really want to get a dog, but my house is chaos and I want it to be... Um, I know that dogs don't like it when... Or, or animals generally don't like it when there's a lot of change in the house. And so it just isn't ready for that kind of situation. But one of these days, I've never had a dog before. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, the t it does go in, which is lucky, because I actually wanted the blue one. But now that I've got the grey one, yeah, actually, you can't really see it. It blends in a lot better. 
it's much more complementary, I think. Mm. Do you not get a dog? I don't want a dog. They work your home. Yeah. Yeah, I thing is I'd want I'd probably see if I could rehome a puppy as well. So my house would get wrecked and have lots of things that I like. So I'm just asking for trouble. Yeah, I, I do I do kind of like dogs. Um, I must admit I'm not a fan of cats. A bit controversial, um, but only because I'm a long time grower of vegetables in my garden and it's really just hard to manage all their poo. Like, I've always lived places that had like a really high number of cats that lived nearby and it's just caused me all sorts of problems. So I can see why people like them but we have an ongoing lifelong feud with each other. Stealing the carpet. Good. Oh, poor dog. 15 and a half though, that is, that's one elderly dog. It's been, that dog's seen things. If I was going to get a cat, I'd want it to be a doggy cat. Like I'm sat in the dark here, it's making me look kind of mysterious or godlike. It's my halo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, their, their, their poop doesn't work too well as a fertiliser. I wish it did, because then I would literally just, just fold it in. Um, I've also got lots of rats, in, well I don't know if there's lots but there's at least one because they keep burying stuff in, and I guess it could be a squirrel but I think it's a rat, the burying stuff in my lawn. I just keep finding bean seeds in my, in my lawn. Yeah, as for dogs, I think I would get, well, I would love to have a French Bulldog. But if I was going to get a French Bulldog, I'd probably look to rehome a dog that was already needing a home. I don't think I would like to buy one from a breeder. But uh, that's possible. Lots of dogs sort of need rehoming at different you imagine a fo folding in the cat poop like you might get like a cake. Who's next after spider? It's a good question because I was thinking about doing another superhero because I realised it's kind of fun. I kind of enjoy it. Um, and was thinking about putting it to the public vote to see what are you go with next and just go with maybe like the most number of votes as long as I don't find it a ridiculous option and providing I can find the outfit as well in my size the cats are doing a crap job they they need to up their game if I was gonna get a bigger dog I'd probably get a Labrador oh yeah I think um, I think me and a lab would get on. Thanks very much. It's covered in paint. See, paint there, paint there, oil stains. It's got these really oh. weird shadows that I don't know what's going on. It's it's literally part of the outfit. I don't know what it's about. It's really odd. Makes me look really weird. It's actually quite unflattering, this. More paint. I have to, um, I have to do my video for today. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do my video. And then I'm 
going to tidy up and then I might go to bed. That's my plan. Um, but it's been really lovely talking to you and it's nice to jump on lives again. I haven't been on for so long. Uh, I was thinking about doing like a more regular thing, but I don't know if I can commit to that sort of regularity at the moment. So I might just be sporadic, just surprise you. Ta da! I'm here. Uh, anyway, love you to chat and we will catch up soon. Just going through what you read before I go. Don't do the invisible woman. Mm. I have to look that one up and see. Cool, thanks, thanks everyone. Oh. Sorry, someone's just inviting me to join and they don't know that I'm about to head off, so I'm just gonna say no to that one. I really am gonna go this time. <laughs> okay, speak soon.